hello everyone welcome back to another lesson in bootstrap uh, in this lesson I am going to cover navs, nav bars, the navigation used in bootstrap I mean it's really easy to implement a navigation bar uh, in bootstrap uh, okay before that uh, I did a small mistake last time as you can see I did nav bar, I did tabs and pills last time but I did a small mistake as you can see I it, this is the pills this gets changed but when I select this the same thing gets changed that's because I have named this uh, given them the same section IDs to change that mm, let me give this section uh, another 4 and 5 and 6 and and 4 5 and six okay that gets changed properly and this gets changed properly as well okay moving on to today's lesson uh, today's lesson is navigation um, so let's create a navigation nav the class of navbar and nav we want the default one so navbar default okay mm, and I'm going to give this a role as well as navigation okay and next I'm going to create a class of uh, div with the class of container I'm going to have all my content inside this container okay uh, next uh, let's add a div uh, head uh, I mean the brand first save as you can see you can see the nav bar let's take this to the top uh, before the header okay as you can see the nav bar here so let's give this nav bar a nav bar header so create another div class div with the class of nav bar header and okay um, this is what I'm going to do uh, let's create an anchor tag first uh, I'll explain later href and give it a hash and give it a name brand name goes here okay so again give it a class of Napa brand Napa brand okay as you can see the brand name over here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a responsive Napa that means when I change when I when the when the media in a smaller device you will see uh, three lines over here I'll show you first then you'll see F to uh, to do that I have to need I need a button uh, with the class of nav bar toggle nav bar toggle and give it a data toggle of collapse because it's kind of works like collapse then of course we need to go data target the things that we show when we click the button data target uh, ID let's say give it uh, navigation collapse uh, navigation ID of navigation what navigation example okay and give this button a span with the class of icon bar okay let's copy this few times and 
and let's check it out now I'm going to make the browser smaller as you can see there's a button now 700 after when it passes 760 pixels it creates a button now when we click this we want to show the menu so let's create that menu header so let's create a another div that contains our item list give it a class of collapse nav bar collapse and of course we should give the ID that we mentioned here which is navigation example ID of this okay now let's create a ul with the list we'll create a list of items that we want to show in the menu in the navigation give it a class of nav nav uh, nav and let's create list item with the anchor tag and say link one or oh, let's make it about us and another tab another link contact us okay and of course we have to make the first one yeah let's no not need no need i think that's it let's take a look oops I have to put this inside the container okay as you can see now you can see the nav bar. we can give an active class to one of them if you want the let's create another link and say home and give it a class of active okay it has active class okay that's that we can add a form as well if you want uh, of course to do that let me tap this and create a form again action is nothing the class is a nav bar form and I want to align the form field to the right so so it will look like it will be here and there that to do that nav bar right and let's create another class of div class of form group you should be familiar with this now uh, and create an input field with the text type text and of course give it the class of form control there you, ca you can see you can give a placeholder value and all that you can add a button as well mm, so uh, uh, let's add a placeholder value placeholder search and of course you can add a button as well submit and of course give it a class of button button 
mm, default okay okay that's it uh, if you want a difference change you can make this navigation look like this navif bar inverse which give it a darker look like that and you can make this navigation fixed at the top as well to do that navbar fixed navbar fixed top as you can see it's fixed on now on top uh, you can make it fixed on bottom as well it's fixed at the bottom as well so uh, let's say inspect this back to the top and that covers navigation and let's check this out I mean the responsive button works or not yeah we see the button when we click we get the menu okay that looks good uh, okay then uh, that's that for this lesson thanks for watching uh, please suggest uh, please give reviews on the video that you see and take care have fun subscribe bye